NBC's Ryan Riley has the latest on what we know. And Ryan, what does this signify about this interview happening? Does it look like this investigation is wrapping up? The White House, um, you know, U.S. officials have said that this had been scheduled, though, for weeks. Yeah, you typically don't get this sort of interview unless you're really getting to the end of things. And I think that the closest analog we can point to is really arguably what brought Donald Trump uh, to power in the first place back in 2016, the interview with uh, Hillary Clinton. And that involved Hillary Clinton going to uh, the FBI and conducting this interview. It was sort of the last step in the investigation into her handling of classified uh, documents before the thing was ultimately closed out, um, of course. Uh, so I think that that's sort of where we would track this. Um, you know, this is a much different situation, I would say, though, versus versus Trump, because obviously if this had involved Donald uh, Trump doing some sort of interview, you wouldn't have a situation where it kept so secret. That was the big uh, sort of news to me, is that this held on both, you know, Sunday and Monday when he conducted these interviews. Of course, he has the advantage of being able to conduct this in the White House, so there wasn't any public spectacle around this, but um, mm -hmm. I think that does indicate that we're coming to a close here. And speaking of uh, former President Trump, you know, he's brought up this uh, a lot, you know, uh, contrast Contrasting it or bringing it up in the context of his own special counsel investigation in regards to classified documents. Uh, lay out for our viewers, what are the key differences between the two cases? Well, in Biden's case, it involved a garage, and then in Trump's case, it involved documents around a toilet with a chandelier above. So that's one little bit of a difference. But I think overall... A little, little bit. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. But I think overall, the uh, the broader thing is here, the level of cooperation um, and working with, uh, you know, the special counsel here in this in you know, this case, um, special counsel her, uh, because that's not something that we saw on the Trump side. And I think, you know, had the Trump uh, situation gone a different way and there weren't these allegations that he was hiding information and trying to hold back information uh, from the federal government, I think uh, you can you can conclude that the Justice Department would have been very hesitant to bring charges for charges against Trump had there just been more of a level of cooperation. Um, so I think predictably, probably what we're looking at, unless there are any you know surprises that came out of this interview, is probably some sort of closure to this investigation. I guess the big question is whether or not there's going to be some sort of report, right. which might be critical at all of Biden, uh, even if there's not criminal charges brought forward. Yeah, and that was my next question: How long might it take to write up that report we just don't know yeah we really don't know but i would expect that you know the attorney general merrick garland would be expected to make that public but you know obviously her has sort of looked at what's happened to other individuals who have investigated and see he knows what he has coming when it comes to the house republicans in terms of uh, oversight of of that investigation so he knows there's going to be a critical eye on this but remember he's a republican appointee he was appointed right. by uh donald trump previously and is well respected and had a history uh of, of a career nonpartisan uh federal Investigator. Critical eye is an understatement. Ryan Riley, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.